Hello, YouTubers and Madden fans. This is Mad Money Shot, sniffing out the Madden cheese as always. I uh, got a defensive play for you today. Maybe two. I'm not sure. It might be a scheme. Uh, but basically, I got a defensive play. I haven't done a defensive play in quite some time. Uh, it's my one of my favorite plays. Probably my favorite defensive play, especially for stopping the run. I mean, this is a great blitz, a great pass defense, a great base defense. This defense really can do it all for you this year. Um, last year, my number one defense was definitely the 3 through 5 wide. Uh, that was a do-it-all defense. But to me, this one's even better because it gets instant pressure on the quarterback. Um, and it shuts down any run any run play inside or out uh, it's the 4-3 under and the play itself is the FS Fire 3 now I put out this play already it was the first defensive play I put out this year and I've been using it pretty much all year so just like anything else something that I use more and more and more and more over time I find a little bit of injury you know the little bit of I don't even know the word, but the, the, the couple of changes that made this play even better. So I'm going to show you that with you guys today. Um, and then I'll probably show a second play on top of it. Uh, I'm not really sure. There's a couple of good plays that I run in conjunction with this play. Um, but, I, you know, I might just leave it as is. But either way, FS Fire 3. Let's go ahead and let's pick that. Uh, we'll go ahead and we'll pick... Uh, we're just going to pick random. I don't even... I, I want to say random gun. But I want to pick random play entirely. So let's go ahead and let's do that. Every time I pick random play, it runs a lot of goal lines and some goofy crap like that. So we'll see what happens. But like I said, this play can shut down anything. So we're going to go completely random here. Now, this play right here, if you guys don't know, is in my defensive playbook uh, on this website or on my uh, personal website, my ebook. Um, so, you know, check that out. The Bengals playbook is the only defensive playbook I've used all year, and to me, it is the best. So I got full breakdowns, all those links in the description below. I fully recommend it. Uh, other than that, this play here is a really easy setup. I mean, I, I do this setup so quick, it's like second nature. I'm going to go ahead and I'll show you how quickly I do it. I was talking a little bit much there, but that's it right there. That's the setup right there. I did it in a few seconds uh, because I run this place so much that I can do it with my eyes closed. So basically to, to go over a little bit slower for you guys, um, so you can sort of help you guys out. Uh, number one, I got this backwards because they got a fullback and they got a tight end on, on one side. So I want to flip this. Now, that's rule number one with this play is you want to have this blitzing guy cutting off with the most most likely the direction that the play is going. And that's given away by where the fullback and where the tight end are lined up. Now, he can run a counter play. You know, I mean, a lot of people run counters. I run counters. They're very, they're very successful. Uh, but just make sure if you have a tight end or a fullback. And you also want this guy here, this safety. The further out, the better. If I put him all the way out here to the court, to the wide receiver, it's good. But I typically have him like right around here. Uh, it doesn't really matter because bottom line is he just has to be outside the furthest block so that the second his run play starts off or whatever starts off he's cutting that off and sending it back up back up the middle so that guy alone is going to take care of that side of the of that side of the ball as far as run plays and like I say he's going to get pressure now the other side say it is a counter I typically do a couple things like I pinch the line this is the setup by the way I pinch the line so that there's no way you can run up the middle either that that pinching that line right there there's no space and I didn't mean to do that now you see what oh you got to tackle though that's like the one, that's the one thing that the guys to tackle I guess yeah, I forgot that I got to keep doing something here or else the player will run. Uh, but either way, so that's that's partial, partially the setup. I'll go ahead and I'll go through it again. But uh, basically, once again, I got, a, I got a fullback and a tight on the one side. So I'm playing the percentages here. A lot of people don't know. Playing defense is all about playing the percentages. Sure, he could run a counter. But realistically, people typically run strong side. They also typically run open side of the field. And I can't change that right now uh, because I'm on the defensive side of the ball. But a lot of people run open side of the field. So if somebody's got, uh, a, a, if they're on the left side, you know what I mean? Have, the, have this guy all the way over here. I'm totally messing up all my adjustments. Um, but basically, open side of the field will also give uh, the direction of the play away. So just play the percentages when it comes to his blitzing safety. He's there to be the, he's the true force defender on this. So on the other side, I also like to typically blitz the outside linebacker. And the simplest way to do that rather than going over to him. Uh, there's a couple different ways you can do that, actually. I think if you hit, uh, is it double L1? You can, uh, no, it's not double L1. What is it, double triangle? Yeah, no, not double triangle. I think it's double R1. There we go. Double R1, you can choose what to do, but the easier way to do it is just hit R1 one time and then hit uh, left on the uh, the right stick so that it uh, blitzes the outside linebacker. So that's, that's the setup, the full setup, the way I've been running it. Pinch the line once again, like I said, and uh, this is really it. Now this here, you can't run to either side. That's essentially what this is. You cannot run the ball to either side, and you can't run up the middle because if, if, the, if the run plays up the middle, and maybe I'll have to choose that in a minute, but if the run plays up the middle, they're gonna run their own blockers essentially. And you just have to be a half-assed user. You don't even have to be a great user to run this defense. You do, however, since there's no purple zone over here anymore, you gotta pay attention to that. But uh, that deep purple, or that deep blue zone should take care of Macklin. Um, your responsibility is really in this position gonna be Wallace. Uh, Watts in there that he should be handled by that seam flat because those seam flats don't run straight out a lot of times They'll cover they'll cover what's in front of them. Their, the zones are a lot smarter this year So this right here um, is going to be the setup. Let's go ahead. and Let's let the computer run one time 
It was an outside run. Um, the, the safety got blocked, and this guy just keeps breaking tackles. The safety got blocked, but you can see the play there. Yeah, I don't know if I mentioned, too, that um, typically uh, I like to man the... Uh, I like to... Uh, I'm sorry, not man. I like to, to, uh, to spread the linebackers, too. I didn't mention that. Um, you want this guy... If you spread the linebackers, this guy will get wide of the furthest blocker, which is important. So let's go ahead and let's let this computer run the ball a couple times, or run a couple plays. Uh, there, once again, I didn't even make the uh, proper, appropriate adjustment. Like I said, you always want your, your blitzing safety to that side. Still shut the play down, though. Like here, once again, this is this is a scenario. I want to flip it. I want this guy to the widest possible spot. And it's that quick. It's a pretty, it's, To me, it's pretty easy because I do it so much. And then I'm going to go ahead. I'm going to cover uh, Wallace here so there's no quick throws. And we got pretty much everything on lock. He had to float it up and then knock it away. So, you know, it's a good pass defense for sure. Yeah, another thing you can do, too, um, if somebody is... Um, you know, if, if they're expecting that blitz, I'll, another thing I like to do is sometimes I'll, I'll, I'll bring the safety down. I'll put, uh, I'll go to, I'll hit triangle or Y and hit underneath so that I basically have a hard flat, uh, which helps in blitzing situations. A lot of people like to throw to the flats when they're getting blitzed. Um, but then you could also have the option of mabling this, uh, this left side here uh, by basically taking the safety and putting them on a curl flat. Now you got a mable concept. So that whole side is shut down. So that's something that you can do um, as an adjustment. You're not going to get the heat. But a lot of times people are getting pressured a lot. They're going to expect heat when it's not there. Uh, and they're essentially going to get rid of the ball. And a lot of times they'll make mistakes. You know what I mean? So that's a really good thing to do. Um, another thing you can do is uh, these defensive linemen. If you put them on a, um, put them on a uh, QB contain, which is uh, holding L2 and hitting R1, um, a lot of times that will help the outside blitzers uh, get in. Because the, the, basically the QB contain makes these guys get the widest angle. So I'll go ahead and I'll keep with the, uh, with the blitz the way that it is. Hopefully we can get in here pretty quick. And he's just sitting right there. It looks like he didn't really drop back. <laughs> okay. Like I said, good coverage play. Good base defense. I wish they'd run the ball a little bit. I'm still not following my uh, my own criteria by doing this to the right side. Go ahead and we'll do that now. Let's go ahead and let's run it there, Flack. And he's just throwing wide. I don't know. That might have been pressure based. And we'll take a look at the uh, replay here. See if somebody was getting in in his face. Maybe that had something to do with it. I mean, he definitely, he definitely had a free runner here. Um, I don't know if that guy, what the deal was with 70. Is that a blocker or is that a fullback? Yeah, he just went straight past. That guy was a receiver. That's why. Uh, but basically, you know, you can see how the guy essentially is going to come in free. Um, you know, you're, you're typically going to have a free runner. Did I not put this guy on a blitz? I don't think I did. I was supposed to put that guy on a blitz. So even though I didn't blitz a guy properly, um, it, it, still, it still got in. Um, and you don't have, if you want to leave that guy out in coverage, it's really up to you. I put him in, I blitz him quite a bit because it's really rare. Like this, like, like right now, I basically just have to cover the whole right side of the field. And that's fine. I have no issue doing that. If you're not a great user, maybe, uh, maybe you think twice, but um, I, have, I have no issue. I'm just going to cut off the short routes. Man, that was a nice stop. So here, once you guys, goal line coverage. So let's see, let's, let's pretend this guy's on the one. Let's see if we can hold him out. One yard line, one yard line, and it's a pass, and it's a sack. <laughs> so there we go. Um, I, like I said, that's, uh, you know, I, I probably could have did a two-parter out of this. There's a couple more good good plays. But if you guys want to see more defensive plays, do me a favor, hit the like button. I'll do that. Other than that, thanks for watching, man. Moish it out. want to show your support then head over to my patreon and join my team where you can get exclusive content like ebooks and bonus plays as well as early access to my bits and more link in the description below